Hi, I'm Mitch Reed, and I'm doing a vlog, and my vlog today is on just rare tunes and cross-tuning, because I really feel like cross-tuning is something that we've lost, and I want to try to keep it alive. Uh, it makes tunes sound great. Of course, it's a fiddle thing. Uh, the accordion is kind of the dominant thing in Cajun music, but um, all you fiddle players out there, let's, let's keep this instrument alive in Cajun music and uh, don't let those old tunes die. So I'm going to play one, an old reel, and this is called La Rille de Lance Bleu. If you've ever been to Lance Bleu, not too far from Mamou. Okay, so it goes like this. <laughs> La Rille de Lance Bleu. And um, my fiddle is cross tuned, but I'm Cajun cross tuned, so I'm D, starting from the high strings, D, G, D, G. And I like this tuning. Um, I used to go visit uh, Creole fiddler Calvin Carrier, and Calvin learned fiddle from his uncle Bebe Carrier, and they used to tune this way. Uh, not often, but uh, Bebe knew a lot of really old polkas and mazurkas and reels and blueses, and they would play it this way. So, um, yeah, so I also uh, learned tunes from them. So, uh, why don't we play one now? This is something definitely different than the reel, uh, and this is just the blues, and it was, it's just called Blues à Bebe. It goes like this.
So it's a lot of fun to play. What's cool about it, you can hear the other strings resonating uh, that you're not even bowing just because they're all tuned the same so they just start resonating and that's really cool. If you have a good fiddle it'll definitely do that. So uh, so yeah, so I just want to talk about that. I like, you know, putting my fiddle in this tuning or if you have a second fiddle or a third fiddle you can put in this tuning and um, it's great to play um, a lot of old time tunes this way. Uh, a lot of people ask me if uh, Wayne Perry was tuned this way, uh, Dennis was tuned this way a lot. Um, not really sure with the Wayne Perry stuff um, if he was tuned like this, but um, you know, he definitely could play his tunes. I know Michael Ducey played uh, Acadian Waltz with a cross tuning and it sounded really nice. So anyway, just wanted to talk about that, but I'm gonna leave you with this tune that I learned from Dennis and or from one of his field recordings um, and it was in a cross tuning and it's called uh, the Mark and Tail Reel. So go stuff. Um, I was talking to Mike Ducey about that and one of the tunes I felt like Dennis sounded cross tune in was a quafab and it definitely works well with quafab because you can um, do some nice rocking and get some chords. Maybe I'll just end with that one. Uh. some of it down for you. I have a website and I do break stuff down at a somewhat of a beginner level, beginner to intermediate level and also from intermediate to more advanced level and just a huge library of tunes, um, traditional tunes, 
some obscure, some of the standards. Um, if you want to check it out, and uh, but thanks so much for you know checking out this vlog, and hope uh, it helped or hope it inspired you. I know I get very inspired from watching uh, YouTube. Uh, fiddlers out there that are just you know breaking down tunes or just playing tunes and talking about the origins or how they learned them or whatever that's very inspiring to me so i uh, hope i can pass that along as well um and yeah hope to see you out there soon stay inspired keep on fiddling all right thank you